Virgo, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Virgo, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, Virgo, if you have a certain amount of money you would like to manifest or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for your totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned till the end of your reading while we'll pull a final message from your spirit guides and your spirit animal. All right, so let's dive right in. First card, King of Cups. Your angels are telling you to listen to your intuition. Your intuition is going to speak to you in the form of a feeling or images, not words, rarely words, right? And this is when your guides are guiding you. Your angels are telling you, giving you that GPS, your emotional guiding system. They're showing you exactly what to do. Like, there's nothing better than being guided. Imagine, like, getting in a car, and in that car, there's a magical GPS. And this GPS knows exactly where to take you and give you whatever it is that you need, and you don't even have to think about it. That is your angels and guides guiding you. When you're just going with the flow and you're in alignment, all the answers like, I should do this. Oh my goodness, what a great idea. Mm, monetize the passion. All of those answers come to you. But whenever you're forcing and efforting it, that's when it gets difficult. Now, you got the Eight of Wands, that's a travel card. Six of Pentacles, Empress, Ace of Pentacles. Yes, please, loving that. The Hangman, the Five of Swords, low resistance there, but you got the Lover's card, another travel card, the World card. Queen of Wands, the Moon, Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. This is crazy. Like, you have so many good things manifesting for you. Your energy is definitely magnetic and you're attracting all the right things. I see here right now, financially, your, your money and career energy is in a vibration or frequency that is so predominant. It is so magnetic that situations are aligning for you in the quantum field and opportunities will be presenting themselves to you in the short term. Now, are you aware of these opportunities? That is the question. When these opportunities get presented to you, they rarely come in the form that we expect, right? It's always like random. Like you might meet someone at the coffee shop or someone will get some word of mouth or all of a sudden, you know, you'll randomly be somewhere and something will happen. But you got to be aware. You got to be aware that during this trend, during this time, that there is an opportunity. The angel is in front of me, for example, trying to guide me. And right now your angels are telling you to be open to the, to the idea of receiving abundance. And that's why we're going to get to your affirmation because I just want to make sure you get to this. In the comment section, write down, I am open to love. I am open to love. Let your angels and guides know you're open to love. Quantum entangle with this energy. Saying these affirmations, writing these affirmations down, doing these things, you know, your mind cannot tell the difference between real or fake if it feels real. Hence, placebo effect. And the universe could care less. The universe is not like, listen, that's not real. It doesn't count. No, it's the exact opposite. The last thing the universe cares about is realistic and practical energy. That's why I'm like, write down. I, I invite, the, uh, excuse me, um, I am open to love. Let the universe know that you command, assume, expect, welcome this energy. You don't want, need, hope, none of this, okay? You've already seen it happen. Your soulmate already entered your life. Now, why am I telling you this? You gotta understand, when you feel something, the universe will deliver. It does not care if it's real. The mystical, spiritual, and quantum, which is a vibration or frequency, you cannot see. Right? For example, can you hold energy? No. But an opportunity is energy. What, what, the last thing you should care about is something that you can hold, smell, or taste. Anything solid matter or particle, it's, that's why like, you know, ask yourself, like, why is it your coworkers, neighbors, friends, family, how come they haven't, their manifestations haven't come to fruition? Right? Why is that? It's because everyone's so realistic. You know? Have you ever given a thought to what you would do if you had enough money to retire and never have to pay off your bills? Most likely, no, right? Why? Because it's not realistic. Exactly, right? But when you actually quantum entangle with the energy you're looking for, now an opportunity will present itself for you to actually have that life. But unless you spark that thought, you are not going to have brain and heart coherence and you can't quantum entangle with it. So right now, your angels and guides are telling you, there is something here that is holding me back, right? There is some sort of energy of, oh, this isn't, I don't believe this, I tried this, it didn't work, or why did this happen? All that energy that shoulda, woulda, coulda, your angels and guides are telling you that this is the reason that the manifestations you're looking for have not come to fruition yet. Luckily, look at this. 
The fact you got the world card and the lover's card here, romantically, I see right now that you are meant to go and travel with your special somebody or meet them there. So visualize yourself on a vacation meeting someone or visualize yourself with your spouse going on vacation if you're in a relationship. Let the universe know that you welcome this energy. Command them, assume this, feel it, right? Remember, feeling is the secret here. Right now I do see here that your angels and guides are telling you to really Remember who you are and tap into your spiritual powers. You know, if you want to know who you are, look in the mirror. Don't look at your body. That's your car. That's your avatar. Look in your eyes. Look in your soul. That is you. That is your higher self, right? Your higher soul self has been reincarnated thousands of times. Do you know how many times you've been reincarnated? One time you're a woman, a man, you were tall, you were short, you were different races, everything. Now, the only thing that every single time you have in common is you are co-creator with spirit. That means you're part of a collective consciousness, which means you're experiencing stuff. The, uni the universe is experiencing experiences through you. This is the crazy part. So what does this mean? Let me, I guarantee you the universe wants you to have fun, be silly, enjoy, experience wealth, experience love. Do you know why? Because when you think of those thoughts, they feel good. You're in alignment with them. Now, when you feel scarcity, it feels bad. You're out of alignment. I'll give you an example. When you breathe air, ah, feels good. Holding your breath, hope feels bad because you're out of alignment with it. You're not meant to do that. So therefore, if anything feels wrong, that is the universe's warning sign telling you this is not who you are. This is not who your higher self is. Right now, understand your higher self is telling you to experience stuff. Let us go and try new things out. We may like it, we may not. Let's go ask a person on a date. They may say yes, great. They may say no, great contrast, moving on. Let us go start a business. We may succeed, we may not. Okay, if we don't, all right, we know what not to do, right? When you look at it from that perspective and you're actually focusing your awareness on the abundance that awaits you, everything gets effortless and you are no longer efforting. But whenever you are living in fear, that's when it gets hard. Look at this. Right now, you got the king of swords. So right now, your angels are telling you to strategically plan. Like, what is your game plan? What's your one year, three year, five year, 10 year game plan? Do you have a game plan? You know, have you, do you have a vision of the future, the story of the future? Because if you don't, then you're left with a memory of the past, right? Right now, the memory of the past is usually depression. So focus on your game plan. Now, look at this. Look at the message. Pig spirit. Use your mind wisely, right? Your angels love you so much. This is your animal spirit right now. Your guys are telling you to use your mind wisely, right? The power of a thought. You know, before I used to hear growing up, knowledge is power. I was like, knowledge is power. No, money is power. But you know, a confidence is power. No, actually knowledge is power. When you have knowledge and you know what you're supposed to be doing in life, Everything gets effortless, but when you don't have knowledge and you don't know what to do, oh my goodness, this is a scary world to live in. Right now, your angels are telling you to really take some time for yourself, take some time, improve your education. Education does not mean taking a course on something you don't love. Education means following a passion. If you like animals, go look up something to do with animals. If you like energy, Reiki energy healing technique. If you want to go learn about, you know, um, spirit, go learn about, you know, anything to do with, you know, quantum entanglement, figure out how the universe works, whatever you like, but focus right now on something you're passionate about. All right, now final message from your spirit guides. They say maintain your childlike spirit. Why? Because they know when you have that childlike spirit, you know what you're not? Serious, right? All right, so nature holds all aspects of light. This light is the same brilliant light that shines out of every child while they are still in touch with magic of the world. Find the innocence of your childlike childhood light within you and reconnect with it. Why is that? Remember when you were young? Remember when everything was so much fun? When you were five years old, you, knew you were a master manifester. Someone could come up to you and be like, I want you to visualize you holding a million dollars and riding a blue unicorn and having a bunch of people who love you giving you kisses. Like that, you'd be able to do it. When you go back to that energy, when you stop being serious and realistic and analytical and practical and blah, 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 when that brainwashing goes out your window and you go back to daydreaming, journaling, having fun, 
being in nature, letting go, realizing life is short. And I'm talking short, short. Like we think it's finite. No, it's not. I mean, life is, life is, uh, excuse me, we think it's infinite. Like, like when, in a blink of an eye, right? Like life will, life will just pass us by. So right now, enjoy yourself. Have some fun. Smile. Be kind. Be courteous. You know, be excited. Be thankful. Be grateful. Do stuff. Experience stuff. You know, don't worry about if things going wrong. Instead, focus on things going right. All right, Virgo, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.